What do you say there, folks? Your old Billy and Hillbilly. Guess what we're doing today? We're going to do some Lego lamb chops. We got some Greek yogurt. We got some fresh rosemary. Billy's grating some cucumber. And uh, we're going to mix it together with salt and pepper and lemon juice. We're just going to get started. Hang on a second. All right. We're going to start with about, I'm just going to start out maybe a tablespoon of rosemary. Oh, God, I didn't get a spoon. Hang on. I was going to get a spoon, but I decided just to say fork it. <laughs> I have to put some minced garlic, chopped garlic in there. I'll make a mess everywhere first. Put about a pinch of salt. And we're going to go with a, well, hang on again. All right. Nothing was open. Bear with me. So, add a teaspoon of pepper. We'll go with a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then, all right, Bill, let's see some of that cucumber. All right, no, we're not going with the cucumber yet. I forgot one important step. We don't want our sauce to be all watery, so we're going to put a little douse of salt on it and work that in, and that's going to drain the water out of it. And we'll be back when we're ready to mix this up. We've had our cucumber soaking in salt a little bit. And boy, it takes the water out. Now, here we go. Oops, I busted it. Just squeeze gently. Okay. All right, we got a fair amount of water out of this cucumber one cucumber plop and I couldn't find any fresh thyme so we're gonna go in with oh about a half a teaspoon I guess for now and I got some oil it's supposed to be olive oil I don't have any lemon juice pepper salt how much oil it needs I'm not gonna to put too much a little bit of oil I'm trying to do it one-handed oh Billy went outside on me oh man hmm. all right what does that taste like Mmm. Needs more lemon juice. Just a touch. And I got too much salt in it. Just being honest. It's a little too salty, but I put the amount the recipe called for, but I didn't take in consideration, I guess, salt in the cucumber. I don't know. Maybe that done it. It's not terrible at all. I guess it's all right. Interesting. It probably tastes better after it sets in the refrigerator a little bit. Nothing special. Mm. Yeah, it needs to set and blend. I just got some rosemary. It'll be good. I'm going to put a suggestion of cabinets in. Let me get a clean for it. I'll be back. We're going to thank salt and pepper the old lamb chops. We're going to grill them off this afternoon. We're going to let this set three or four hours. All right, here's what we're doing. This here. Oh. Lego lamb steaks. I called them chops. I'm sorry. Lego lamb steaks. They're all Lego lamb steaks. Anyway, they got some good looking marbling. I've only done lamb breast before. I'm not 100% sure. That's definitely out of the shoulder right there. 
leg of lamb, so I guess that's to be the front leg, huh? Anyway, I'm going to just put salt and pepper and a little cavenders and let these set for about an hour or two before I put them on the grill. I don't know if I'm supposed to trim the fat off or not. I'm just going to leave it. If it tastes bad, we'll throw it away. Because it's got a lot in it, man. I don't know. These may not be worth paying money for. I don't know. They may be delicious. They all got the same general... I don't know. Look good to me, man. I don't know. There's a piece of a rib on the end. Looks like little ribs right there. I don't know. Kind of looks like a pork butt. Only sliced up, you know. But the... Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get these dudes. I want to salt and pepper them. Got the other side. Got some. Uh, same little market we found these lamb chops in. My son also found this Australian sea salt. And that is some pretty good stuff. So I'm telling you what. I'll be careful with the pepper. I'll get too much on it. Number 32 pepper. Not too fine, not too coarse. Just mm -mm good. And yeah, I'm doing these over a sink full of water. I've been doing dishes and these are uh, yeah, I don't know why the hell it's just there, man. I been doing dishes. Got this one little Pitmaster privilege right there, whatever you want to call it, dog treat. I'm going to try that before they're done. A lot of times that'll give you a chance to see if you're really screwed up or not on the flavor profile. I don't know. I think that's good. Put a touch more cavenders. I'm going to sear these, I think. We're deciding whether we're going to do it on charcoal or what. I'm going to sear them on the, or the blackstone. I mean, I'm going to do it on charcoal. I want to grill them off and put them over and let them slow sear since they're so thick. I mean, they're about about an inch thick, every one of them. So I've never had lamb like this. I don't know if it's going to be tender and delicious or tougher than a shoe. It's got a lot of bone. One long bone. It looks like a shoulder blade, maybe. I don't know. There's ribs right here. Kind of weird bone right there. I don't know. Fresh bone, maybe. There's a lot of this is going to be unedible. Looks like you got pieces of rib in here. You know? I don't know. We're just going to sear them off. And that way, I'm going to do it on the grill. That way, when they're... I'm going to do it on the grill, I can back it out of the way and let it... Uh... Hmm. Matter of fact, you know, I think I'll smoke these on the smoker. Do a reverse sear. I'll take and finish them on the flat top, maybe. I don't know. You'll see as I see. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> all right guys this old tzatziki sauce or whatever it is has been sitting here about three or four hours and i happen to remember i have apple mint my wife plants that out there in the yard and i got fresh green apple mint and i'm just going to put a big old couple of tablespoons you know mint with lamb all that i don't know what I'm doing here, but I have to imagine it's going to be good. Oh, baby. Mm. Well, that's thickened up pretty well. I didn't taste it before I put this in. I guess I should have. Mm. That's going to have to be good, man. Some apple mint, that's fresh right out of the, right out of the dirt right there. Matter of fact, I forgot to even winch it off. <laughs> ah, what could be wrong with it? It'll be fine. Anyway, hello, hello, Billy Barbecue. It's the same barbecue, is it? Kind of. Mm. Now we're going to let that sit in there. About an hour. Mmm. 
I may put some more of that in there. I'm going to go get some more and chop it up. All right. I keep thinking of stuff to put in it. I want to put a little dash of dill weed. Now I think that's got to be it. That's got to be it. Now that's going to be. And that apple mint made a huge difference in it. I really like all this. This is a cool. So I've never made this. Never cooked lamb. I may have a video of me doing lamb breast. I can't remember. I done lamb breast. I don't remember if I filmed it or not. These leg of lamb steaks. Oh God, have mercy! Perfect. Perfect. Go put these on the grill. The old grill's ready. Old Billy suggested we do some the great Canadian on there. And so let's give it a whirl. See what it tastes like. Pat that shit in. And I'm, my grill's a little too hot. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just going to throw them on there. And see, uh, And see what happens when you move these around. But, uh, all right. I realize I'm wrecking the junk off. There. Now, those are some beautiful looking steaks. I'm telling you what. Oh, come here, little feather. Let's talk about things here. All right. Put that down for just a second so I don't burn the house down. A little while, Bill, making some tavern fries, just like we get out at the old, well, this one old tavern. Gorgeous mountain home. Got curly fries and the fresh garlic and butter, man. Those things are freaking awesome. We're going to have that with our steak, too. All right. Let's see. Well, there sure is a lot of bones in these. I don't know how it's going. I like that. Eh, not so much. Not so much. Bring you back a hair. Look at those tiny little bones. I like to look there's yeah ribs. Your ribs right by the front leg, I guess. Man. Pretty. All right, I'm gonna shut it up. All right, look at them. I know I've done the carnal sin. There's a couple of them here that are I intentionally done, really done. And the other two. Some of us like them done that carried over. That was at 135. at 135. They all are just tender as butter. I can't wait to taste them. Well, look at here. Let's see. That's a piece off the rib side. Got to get where you can see it. Look how tender looking it is. It's just like butter. There's the tzatziki sauce. Mm.
Look at Billy's steak. What do you think, son? It's not bad. Not bad. I think you could fool me into believing that's regular, just like a, a ribeye or something. I don't know. It's pretty fatty. It's... Mm. Oh, man. Billy made some garlic butter fries, too. Get one of those and some tzatziki sauce. And a piece of steak. Guys, that's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Don't cheat yourself out of trying this. This is... Every bit as good as beef, I'll tell you that. That's a damn fine steak right there. Mm -hmm. I approve. I think it's pretty good. And that tzatziki sauce, that's easy to make. Made a good fry dip. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, anyway. Melt in your mouth. Keep on smiling, baby. Bye-bye, son. <laughs>